What is the proper way to strap a flatbed semi truck? Just do it. Do We're gonna watch LaShawn strap today and see if he does it correctly. And I'm gonna critique him to see if he does it right. I don't think he's gonna do it right. Most guys don't know how to properly secure or strap in flatbed, but today. Strapping, uh... Do you do a DOT wrap on the strap? Nah, bro. You gonna show us? I'm gonna show you. And this is, this is the way that it has to be done in flatbed. It's the American way. It's the American way. If you were wondering how to strap the truck down, we're gonna teach you today. All right, let me know when you're ready. We're ready. All right. Welcome to Trucking with LoShawn Parks. You guys could have been anywhere else I'm in the world, done. but you're here with me. And I'm going to show you guys how we're going to uh, properly secure these Transformers, a.k.a. known as what, TB? Transformers? No, that's not what you said earlier. I don't remember what you're talking Condom about. Condom conduit, something like that? I don't remember that. You're a liar. All right. I know they're not a generator like you said. Right. So we can't go over the top. We cannot go over the top of these Transformers with straps. We have to come over the top of the wood, so... Each part right here, that's where we're going to be throwing a strap at. So we're going to put two straps over each transformer, which is going to give us a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, about 12 straps. All right? So uh, let's get started. Yeah. You're counting out your securement before you pull them out? Six, that is correct. I need 12 straps. That's seven. I need to organize that a little bit better. Let me show you how to utilize What the is today. that? This is for that. This gives it a tighter grip. As you guys can see the demonstration on there. What you do is you put it in there. It's better, it gives a tighter grip or a tighter lock on there better than what your actual hand can do. Really? Yeah. Well, good night tight. We just plugged them. I've never heard of this product. We are not sponsored from them at all. You they can sure. holler at us for real. You can holler at us. We're going to test them out today and use them on camera. For sure. Ready? Bills. 31,000 pounds. You riding, you riding head. I'm going to hold the hook down like such. Grab it here. And it depends on how high the point. I'm going to throw up. In a, in a kind of like if you're playing baseball and you're in the outfield, you want to throw up motion. So, but I'm not going that far across. So here I'm just going to throw the cross. Damn, gotta do strap in. To the strap to the trailer. Yeah. So this is how I like to do my strap. Okay. So the DOT way that they say a DOT wrap is like this. Okay. This is the DOT wrap. Come across it. Come up underneath it. That's DOT wrap. I've explained this in one of my videos already. I don't like this form because still at the end of the day, if you rub across something and it rips this strap apart, so this comes out, strap is loose, this part right here falls to the, well, it doesn't fall to the ground, but it stays here, but then your strap is cut, right? Mm -hmm. So now the strap is not secured any longer because if something comes across this that's really sharp and cuts this, now the strap is just loose. The way that I'm about to show you, I like to do it, the strap doesn't get cut. Come here, come down, Right here. If something hits your rail that's sharp, it's hitting metal. It's not cutting my strap, ever. All right, so that's the way I like to do it. Mm -hmm. That's not the DOT wrap, but I don't like the DOT wrap because I feel like with the DOT wrap, it's still unsecured because if something hits it, it cuts it, it's a wrap. Cool. Here is the tie down portion. What I'm gonna do is we threw these straps without a twist in them because they're not up in the air, so we're not really worried about these straps buzzing. Okay, that's the reason why you put a twist in straps when you're taking it over higher commodity. It's because you want to stop the friction. That's what it does. It shakes yeah, it in the okay. wind. Okay, I was like, what are you doing? But yeah, that's what you do. It stops the friction, stops the buzzing. So we don't need it because these are not elevated into the air. We're not going over the top of the commodity. So we're going to go straight down with them. Come in with it. What you do is, what I like to do, this is how I do it. I walk back with the strap. Grab the, the end of it like such, pretty much walk it back in, keeping it, keeping it straight. Don't put no twist in it. 
That's how you do straight fold. No twist in it, just walk it back. All right? Walk it back. You want to make sure that if this side doesn't have the, the orange line on it, then you want to insert this side with the orange line showing up towards you, okay? All right, that's, that's an easy way for you to remember if you got the, the method right. All right, put it in here like such. Start turning. Give it a couple of turns. Stop. Make sure it's locked in place. Get your slack out of there. Turn it some more. Got a couple more turns. Up. Turn it in. Stop. Slack out of it. Some more rotations. You're going to see, you see how I just did that little fold like that? Because it was coming up like this. So you're like, oh no, it's about to twist. Now all you got to do is fold it out. Keep turning. Come down with a little bit more to the point where your hand tight. Now it's ready for. And you under the rail. And I'm under the rail, right. Now I'm, I'm under the rail, not over the rail. Okay, I see drivers, drivers who be having over the rail. They say it's not illegal anymore. It used to be illegal. I still don't think that's a safe way because once again, it goes back to if something side swipes you, your strap is cut. So this way, something side swipes you, your strap is still in safe. All right, so now all we need is the, the what I call the hand bar, what they technically call it. We got chewed up about that. Right. Remember the Titan bar. That's the tight bar. I could yeah. call it the hand bar. It was like, yeah. oh, it's really called a tight bar. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the tight bar then, okay? That's what that's what you use it for now. Bam. Get out of Get on up. Get on up. Feel the sea. This is how Trucker Brown does it. I do the fold method. Okay? I don't do this roll up way like this because I feel like this thing gives play. I don't really like it, but it comes up to you. You got two ways you can do it. You can do it the fold secure method, melt truck lines, where I learned that. Or you can do the prime way, the wrong way. We are gonna try out the good and tight tool. Y'all send this to them, follow them on Facebook, and send it to them, tell them to know Trucker Brown is trying out your product. We'd like to hear more about it, good night. We'd like to hear more about it, good and tight. He is using a ratchet binder now. So you just see how I just did that twist right there, young boy? Mm -hmm. I did a twist. Yeah. So that way when it goes up, you snap it back. Mm -hmm. Snap it back. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. That's what I got to do. Okay, you can't come well, like this, you can't go with four. Someone could have told you you could have ran the buckle a certain way where it'd be like that already. You don't have to do that. Actually, what you do is you have to take these screws out right here and reverse it. But I don't got the tool to take this off. So you're just twisting them? Yeah, so I just do a twist. Okay. I'm trying to do it the wrong way. I get it. Right, right, right. I understand. You're trying to help him out, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Like the business is. You're going to help him out, right? Oh, he was unloading. Oh. oh boy, he was unloading. He's already done. I thought he was loading. And that, that cartoon is not allowed on TV now because wow. it's very inappropriate. Because he says pepper, right? Tom and Jerry's not even allowed on TV anymore. Actually, Tom and Jerry's still on TV. I watch it every day. Thanks for asking. When, how you watch Tom and Jerry every day, though? You just be lying, dog. Don't ask me no questions when I'm working. As you in indicated, we don't need to put a whole lot of... This strap, man, I hate this thing. You don't like how I feel? No, I don't like it because the way they put it at. Where you, where you set it at. You wanted it to tuck in. Yeah, because like, no, like I can't get this as tight as I want to get it because you put it right here next to my, my wheel. Ain't no going under this thing either because okay. it's so close. be fine it's only four thousand pounds you got 50 you know you got eleven thousand worth of securement on even though we don't need to use it we would like for you to give us a demonstration on this all right so this is the good and tight uh, I purchased this at the TA, um, excuse me, I purchased this at the Chrome Shop, Iowa 80 in Kenley, North Carolina. 
pretty much can get these from any of the Iowa 80s that are at uh, out here on the road. And what it is, it's called the Good and Tight. And the Good and Tight handle is a mechanical aid that makes proper tension of two to three and four inch ratchets. It, like probably, it probably reduces the chance that you hurt your arm right, or shoulder or something. Arm. So the way that it's supposed to go, according to on this, it's supposed to flip around this side. This is supposed to hook to this handle like such. And basically, you, you get more leverage. Extra leverage that you may need. Does it help? Yeah, it did. It really <laughs> did. This thing is, thing is all right. So, you know, what you can, or your strength that you might not be able to do, you got something that can get up under that grip and come on back down. So, okay, good. It's well worth it. I think it was like, don't quote me, maybe 24 maybe anywhere from 25 to $35. Well worth it, though. Good and tight. Get at us. Everybody send this to Good and Tight's Facebook. Send it to whatever way. Email it to them and everything. Let them know TBYTTA is liking this product. The conclusion of this, we got it all done. I'm pretty sure at this point in time, this is when TB is probably going to do a pan shot of the whole thing while I'm speaking right now. Uh, so you guys can show you guys exactly what the load looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, securement video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up, likes up, whatever. You know, make sure that you also do subscribe to both channels. My channel, which is Trucking with LaShawn Parks. And also make sure that you subscribe to Trucker Brown's channel if you haven't done so already. Until the next video, to the next securement one, you guys be safe. As always, winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. And they focusing on YTTA all day. Back. Anyway, also go to Instagram, okay? I'm on Instagram. It's at Trucker Brown. Follow, follow, follow. Also, this video will first be seen on Patreon. Patreon link in that iCard up to the top. And when you watch these videos, y'all want to check that iCard because there's all type of stuff up there. And hit the bell if you subscribe so you can get a notification that we're on. Bang! Balsa YTTA, the only big boy you know in the game. Welcome. Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here on Rumble. And I have to give a personal shout out to all the people who did hit the cash app. They do get to suggest what type of content comes out. Um, this next topic that's coming is coming from Roadrunner. He is a new uh, person to on the uh, on the uh, on the um, Patreon. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do this and that, and and the work's getting up to me and all that type of stuff. But I'm back here for y'all. We're going to be here to burn mouths. Thank you to every single person who hits the cash app and thinks of, I want to support this channel. So they're just a looky lose. That's why I don't talk to you on there. When you hit the cash app, those people I'm going to make sure I speak to when I see in the chat. Those are the people that are going to make sure that I talk back to when they have a concern or something like that. All the people that are in the Patreon, they get first look at everything that's going on. So the two people that really, really help people out and help out the actual channel, I appreciate you. Don't do drugs. It's Trucker Brown. Go to the Patreon now and sign up.